Hey, good morning. Um, before uh, this next video, I just wanted to let you know, when I walked into it and I was so surprised by the electrical incompetence of, of whoever put in the 220 wires, it was so shocking and I was with a homeowner and it just kept on finding, finding problems after problems and I found it a little amusing how bad it was, but I just want to let you know before you see it. Um, electrical wires should always be properly put in the ground. The proper elevation below, if there's a break, you fix it. You don't leave fuses out. Um, and then, you know, boxes where they're broken and kids can put their fingers in it. So please understand when you watch this video, um, it's beyond frustrating and shocking at the same time that an electrical contractor, and my voice just cracked, an electrical contractor would, would do such a terrible job uh, putting in electrical wires and leaving it exposed for kids or families or whatever to then get shocked and you know terrible circumstances after that so anyway just want to let you know um, a little warning before you see it that I'm not finding it funny I'm finding it just crazy how bad their insulation is so hold on it's starting in just a few seconds hey guys Dave Pratt yep I found something, got to show it to you. Um, came into the backyard, and whoop, we're, <laughs> we're panning around, hold on. Came into the backyard back there, ran my estimate for the new um, pavers and the turf, um, looking at Orco and a couple different things, and then I see this line. Yep, <laughs> where does this line come from? This line used to belong to a jacuzzi that sat here, and then the 220 line, the electrician just ran it behind the palm tree, above ground, over to here, and then he ran the box to code about, you know, one, one foot above the ground. That's fine. Then he didn't sink it back down. Then it goes in back of the um, palm trees. And then guess what I found? So there's the box. The fuse sitting off to the side. No way of locking it. The bottom piece was literally broken off. I mean, just terrible. There's the fuse, and it's wide open. You know, kids could just get their fingers in there. Even with the breaker off, you don't want this. You don't want kids having the accessibility. And then let's go see there. So I'm going to take this out, give that to the homeowner. And by the way, he's calling an electrician today. Okay, so that's quote quote shut not the best way there we go all right let's walk over here so as we come over here the line is above ground and it's just secured to the side of a vinyl fence above ground above ground above ground and then it dives down then it dives down to probably 18 inches underneath of the concrete not the line underneath where it's supposed to be and then over there where it then travels along and then it goes up to the power box that comes right over here so then it comes out and this is locked so that's good but let me show you one last thing this is the kicker so people brought trash cans back forever he bought the house not that long ago and that's broken so the junction is broken where it dives down into the ground it's loose and it could cause nothing but problems as well as an electrical fire. So anyway, I'd love to see your problems, but um, the homeowner's going to get this changed. So anyway, never know what you're going to find in the backyard. So hey, I'd like to see your problems, whatever. Dave Pratt, 714-588-8634. I'm out. Ooh.